Hello guys and welcome back to another play view on the channel and today we've got the 90 rated base icon Rude Hullet to review. Cannot wait to review this guy for you guys. I've had him for quite a while to be honest now. Not really done many videos recently um, but yeah I thought I packed him. I've got to review him. Uh, yeah we've played quite a few games with him so far um, but obviously we'll go into the review we'll show the gameplay and show you what he's good at what he's not so good at and mainly is he worth that massive price tag of two and a half million coins well 2.3 mil there he's gone down a bit um but i was yeah lucky enough to pat this man uh, which I was buzzing about had him for quite a while really enjoyed him so far and obviously we'll go into detail about him in the game so high medium rate four star skills five star weak foot the usual from rude hullet this version could play center forward center mid cam and striker uh, i believe his winter while can Carl can also play centre back as well, um, so that's a slightly different. But he's also a lesser rating than this card. Um, looking at the card, pays very good for a box to box midfielder. 83 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Shooting category absolutely stacked. Lowest being 82, which is his penalties. Then he's got 85 volleys, 86 finishing. But then he's got 91 attack positioning, 93 shot power, and 91 long shots. Insane passing, obviously a joke. Lowest being his crossing, which is 85. The rest high 80s into the 90s there dribbling pretty good although the agility and balance are pretty low agility especially so maybe you want to put an engine on him personally i put a shadow on him because i want to boost the defendant as much as possible uh, hence why i put a shadow on him and also to boost that um sorry i put an anchor on him to boost that pace up a little bit and the defending up sorry uh, but you could go for a shadow if you wanted to as well uh, defending wise he is pretty good 79 interceptions 92 head accuracy 77 defending awareness 80 stand tackle and 75 slide tackle his jumping of uh, 83 though really good and obviously he's six foot three um, and he also has the playstyle plus which we'll go on to in a minute 92 stamina 86 strength and 84 aggression very very nice there is his icon profile for you and like i said he's got power header trait which i'll go into more detail in game because so far Honest to God, off corners, he's absolutely lethal, and hopefully we can show that in the game. He's got chip shot and power shot, no passing uh, ones, which I'm quite surprised at, because that's probably ha uh, probably his best category uh, in real life, to be fair. His passing was insane, especially the long passing. Um, he's got a rapid, which is nice, and obviously the aerial as well. Um, so... Yeah, he's got fast play style, some very nice ones in there. Shame he hasn't got any physical... Uh, he hasn't got any passing ones, uh, which I'm quite surprised at, but there we go. Now, let's get on into the player review of Rude Hullet. Cannot wait to review this one for you guys. And if you do need coins to go and buy yourself a Rude Hullet, then check out our sponsor, u7buy.com, and use the code Josh97 to get yourself a cheeky 6% off at checkout. All the links you need are in the description below. Without further ado, let's get on into the review. So here we go into match number one. Looks like a Liverpool fan. Oh my God, that Nunes card. What is that evolution? I've never seen that before. That Nunes looks absolutely insane. Very jealous of that, actually. Wonder how he's got that, because I've not seen that one leaks on Footbin or anything. Lovely sliding tackle there. I mean, he had a donkey touch, but recovered it with a slide tackle. Can Carlos Evers find him? Yes, he can. Rude Hullet. Should have done better with that. Can he redeem himself here? Oh, nearly. Nearly. That's what I'm talking about with a power header plus. Really nice header there. Obviously, unfortunate. Oh, Hullet. Nice effort. With the finesse shot. Oh, my God. Absolutely ripped that one. Nearly took the bloody goalpost off. Oh, brilliant from Rude. I think that's going to be a rage quit. Very nice goal. It is. It is. So, he didn't actually do that much. Obviously, he hit the bar. He scored as a goal. Um, but showed what he's good at. I mean, off a corner, he got lucky as well with the power header. He had quite a few opportunities. But his van der Sar was on fire. And mine was absolutely rubbish. But we did get the win. And Rude got a goal for us. So, um, yeah. 
Let's go into the next one. So here we go into match number two, and he's got an Anita Bombati team of the year and Sam Kerr. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one, this, but I'm sure Rude's going to help us get the win, isn't he? He did in the last one. Oh, you don't give Rude that space. There we go. Three minutes in, off a corner with the power header plus, and that is... Oh, honest to God, he's absolutely lethal off corners. Literally every time. If he's at that front post and they don't bring the keeper out, nine times out of ten he's scoring. No joke. He's absolutely unreal at that. Look at him there as well. Big and strong, winning the ball back. That's what you want. And then lovely ball across the pitch. Can we make anything from this attack? Yes, we can. Absolute brilliant play. All started really with Rude. That ball across the pitch. He won the ball back for us as well. That's 2-0. Is it going to be a rage quit already? Yes, it is. There we go. Second rage quit. Thanks to Rude Hullet yet again. I nearly said Rude Van Nistelrooy. Talking about Rude Van Nistelrooy. Have you seen his foot birthday card? It actually looks usable for a change. Maybe you guys want to see me review Rude Van Nistelrooy. Let me know in the comments. And let me know in the comments who you do want to see reviewed anyway. Uh, I do take every comment into consideration when I'm doing reviews. So please do let me know. And let me know what content you want to see. But let's go into another. So if we go into match three or four, I can't remember. We've had a couple of rage quits, haven't we, so far? That's a very nice team. Jao Felix looks very good. Ve debating whether to do him or not. But yeah, it's going to be a tough one, this. Here we go. Are we going to have one? No, we're not. It's a good save. That one was straight at the keeper. But he wins every header off corners. Oh, hold it with the run. So unlucky not to score there. Should have. Really, really should have scored. A lovely run. Again. There we go. Finally, he's got his goal. Well deserved as well. He's had a couple of chances. The one off the corner, the header. That just quickly then. And then obviously the goal that he's just put into the back of the net. Took that really nicely as well. He is definitely a box-to-box -box midfielder. Goal scoring. He can do it all. Um, as we know, you know, he's got the Hullet gang named after him for a reason, hasn't he? That's because he's well, well-rounded. And he is still good this year. Would I say he's as good as previous years? I don't think he is. He just doesn't feel as good on the ball, as agile. Um, I don't know. The mechanics have changed slightly this year. But is he still really good? Of course he is. Of course he is. That's why he goes to two and a half million coins, because he is absolutely insane. That all starts from the run that Hullet just made, making the space, taking on defenders, showing his strength. That all came from that, and then obviously Mo Salah puts in the back of the net. Keeper should have done a bit better than that, though, but really nice play from Hullet to set up that goal. Look at that brilliant play from him. Can we get anything from this? No, we can't, but that really good play in a tight spot there from Hully. And, I mean, he's absolutely knackered in this game. We're at 109 minutes now in extra time, but he's still, you know, producing the performances on the pitch we need. Last minute. Can he score the free kick? Oh, no, he can't. Oh, I mean, the dirty bastard snaps us in the last minute. And he got the win, so the tactic paid off. But Ruth Hullet, absolute phenomenal performances throughout this review. Uh, let's get into the player summary because there's a lot to talk about with him. So here we are at the player summary of Ruth Hullet. Now, did I enjoy him? Absolutely. Is he phenomenal? Of course he is. Um, he is so well-rounded, as we all know. He's so good in game. Go and buy and go and try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Um, a couple of things that I would say about him. Obviously, the agility and balance are a big con. He doesn't feel as good on the ball as he has done in previous years. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But he still does the things that Hullet does. Scoring goals. Running up and down the pitch. Winning the ball back. Doing everything, basically. He's good at everything. 
he really is good at everything and that's why he's going for two and a half million coins because he is absolutely fantastic at that so i would definitely say if you've got the coins to go and buy him and you're looking to buy him please do so because he will absolutely do your job in midfield he is fantastic and he's probably going to be in my team till the end of the year now i'm not going to lie um yeah his stats are a bit on the low side but you know with some of the cars that are coming out um already but he's six foot three four star five star and it's rude hullet He's going to be a mess of cards till the end of the year. Absolutely no doubt about it. And yeah, I'm so glad I packed him. He is brilliant. Go and try and go and buy him. You'll not be disappointed. And if you have enjoyed today's play, if you know what to do, smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA related content. Please let me know as well who you want to see reviewed in the next uh, video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys.